What is up guys, it's your boy TSL here, back with a brand new SPTS video. In today's video, we will be fixing our training zone so that they cannot be exploited as easily. Huge shout out to JRL, this guy right up on the screen right now. You can see the, read the whole conversation I had with him. And he told me basically that the way we have our training zones right now are very easily exploitable. So we're gonna make that different. So right now what I've done is I just have the rock zone just cleared out everything but the rock. Not the Wayne Johnson, but this rock part. So basically what we're gonna do is go down into our starter player and our starter character scripts. We're gonna add a new script and this script will be called training training zones so we'll do local character is equal to game or is equal to script dot parent we'll do local player is equal to um, game dot players colon get player from character character and then we'll do local humanoid or we can just do local root is equal to character dot humanoid root part humanoid root part all right so the next thing we're gonna do <coughs> excuse me we will make a local radius variable so basically this is gonna be the amount of studs away from the zone we can be in order to get the effects of the zone so in this case i want to try it with 20 first not sure we can always tweak this number and it's going to be like that for all the zones so what other thing will we have the same for all the zones and that's nothing else so we'll have this while wait uh this is some really small number guys so like you can't even tell it's waiting just so that it doesn't crash though so while well, wait whatever i don't feel like reading that do and then in here we will do um we'll get local rock distance we'll get local um hospital distance distance and we'll get local um local what, what is that first training zone for psychic I don't know. Uh, we'll just do local graveyard. <laughs> All right, you know, we'll just do local psychic. Psychic. All right, I can't spell psychic right now, guys. Local PSP distance, because I can't spell psychic right now. Alright, so then um, let's just go back in here. We will just do the same thing. We'll just delete everything but the rock thing or whatever it has inside of it. Which for this one is nothing actually. So we need to put something inside of the hospital one. So let's just go over here to the hospital. Where's our circle? Um. Let's just delete the circle, honestly. We'll just have like a, in the hospital zone, we'll have a part. I wish this part was near me, but for some reason it spawned all the way over here. And, okay, it's letting me move it now. All right, so um, let's go. This is <clears throat> this is very difficult guys. Can I take this part? Can I go here and turn off turn move to zero? Whoops. Alright, so let's just scale it. Definitely not that big. We'll just have it this big, alright? We'll say like this is the ambulance. I know it looks just like an ambulance. All right, so um, that's it. That's all we have to do. So first off, with our rock distance, we want to do 
we'll want to put the equal sign so and then assign something to it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get the root dot position. And we're going to, this is something we're going to want to do for all of them. So we can just copy this first part and put it for all of them. All right, so now that we have that, let's just make this formatted a little nicer. So now that we have that, the next thing we need to do is sub, whoops, is subtract this number by the um, model's root, so the model's middle part. So we will make those variables. So over here, we'll just make common like um, zone roots. We'll do like rock root or make this local rock root is equal to game dot workspace dot rock zone dot rock and then copy this paste paste this one will be PSP root this one will be um, hospital root and this one will be t this one will be whoops test psychic zone dot rock and then this one will be um, hospital zone dot ambulance alright so now that we have that for our rock distance one we'll want to do rock root dot position and then we'll over here for our hospital one we want to subtract it by PSP root dot position And then for our PSP one, oh, oops, for our hospital one, we want to do hospital root, not PSP root. And for our PSP one, we want to do PSP root dot position. All right, so there we go. And now the last thing we need to do for each of these is add dot magnitude, which we covered magnitude last video, if you remember. If you didn't watch that video, make sure you go check it out now. All right, so now that we have these things here, what we can do, these are the distances from the zones for all of them. So now what we're gonna wanna do, let's just leave a comment like check, like closeness, or check distance. So what we're gonna wanna do for each of them is go something like if, if the, rock distance is less than or equal to radius then what we're going to want to do is have an if player dot here let's make a local strength variable up here local strength is equal to um is equal to player dot strength and we'll do that for all of our stats player dot PSP PSP and then we'll paste this again and this time we'll do an endurance player dot and let's just check on that I don't remember if we named the ender we named it endurance so let's go into our leader stats. Let's check, it's called endurance, okay. Whoops. All right, so now we just need to get the multis for all of them. So we'll do local s multi is equal to player dot zone, or here. Let's see, yeah, they're all in player. So there's zone multi, E zone multi, P zone multi, A zone multi. Player dot zone multi local P multi is equal to player dot um, P zone multi. And we'll do local E multi is equal to player dot E zone multi also we're not doing it for the agility zone because i forgot about that and we didn't even do that no we did not 
Um, yeah, we just made that variable anyways because I think we messed up, but we'll fix that in the next video anyways. Actually, no, we did not mess up. We just didn't make the zone for it. Alright, well, anyways, now that we have these done, we can check if the strength, if strength, if strength dot value is equal or is greater than or equal to a hundred all right let's just save everything that we have right now and then here we'll have an else if um, else if let's just copy this except let's flip this sign or yeah yeah that's what we want to do um or honestly we can just leave it like this and we can just do if not that and if um e zone all right here we'll just do an else right and then inside we'll do if e's or if s zone multi or s multi dot value is equal to two then we'll set this equal to zero and then yeah and if this is true then we can just set this to two or this will be one actually all right, so there we go. That's our rock zone, hopefully. Um, let's actually just test it with this zone first, and then we'll check out all the other zones once we make them, if this one worked. So, um, real quick, I just want to lower the requirement a little. Let's make it like 10. So, we lowered it a lot, actually. And we just want to test it quickly, just see if it's working. So over here, we'll go here and click play here. So if we go here right now, then we're not getting anything like different than usual. If we get up to six, eight, ten, now we're at ten. If we go close, we are now getting four. How far can I be to still get four? All right, so I am decently far away. All right, so this is no longer in the zone, which I think is actually good. Here is still not in the zone, though. Here is still not in the zone. Here is in the zone, though. I think we should up it to 25, and that's that. So let's go into our training zones and just change radius to 25. Now it's 25 stud radius. All right, so now we can just copy this code right here. We can just paste it in twice. We can change this to hospital distance. And then we can change we can change this S multi to E multi. Oh whoops, wrong place. Right here we have to do that. And um then we want to change this to um endurance dot value all right so then we want to change this one to PSP distance and this to PSP this to P multi and this to P multi and this to P multi and I think that should be good for all of them all right, so right now they're all, you need 10 for all of them. So yeah, let's just check if these all work. All right, so let's just start off with our strength one, once this loads in. So if we just get a multiplier on all three of those stats. All right, so right now, if I go close to it, I am still just getting my two because I have a multiplier. And now that I have 10, I'm getting 4. 
If I go here, I'm still getting four because I'm still pretty close. All right, if I'm here, I'm still getting four. And if I'm here, still getting four. But if I'm here, I'm getting two. All right, so perfect. I think 25 was the perfect amount. So let me just get some psychic while I go to the psychic zone. All right, so I'm at 10 psychic now. And now if I go here, I am now getting four psychic every time. If I move away a little, I'm still getting four. Move away more, still getting four. Move away more. Still getting four, move away a little more, and I'm back to two. All right, so now let's do our push-ups while we walk there because for some reason we can do that. We still didn't fix that. We will fix it before the game goes public. All right, so now that we're over here, um, we are now getting four endurance every time. If I'm, like, even if I'm right on top of it, still getting four. If I'm back, all the way back here, though, I am now getting two again. And now I am getting two still, and now I am getting four again. All right, so as you can see, this actually works a lot better anyways, and it's harder to exploit. So once again, huge shout out to JRL um, for giving me this idea and for helping our game be less vulnerable to exploits. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Only a small percentage of you guys that watch my videos are subscribed. So please do that, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.